Hello, thanks again for watching Sibelius tutorials. This is Josh again with a quick tip on setting up manual repeats playback in Sibelius, also known as looping. In Sibelius, you can create a loopback effect by going to Playback Ribbon, Interpretations, and Repeats. In the Repeats window, you can change how Sibelius will playback your score. You can choose Don't Play Repeats, which bypasses all the repeat markings and manual playbacks, and plays the score straight through or you can choose automatic repeats playback, and this is chosen by default and plays back your repeat and coda markings. If you don't want your score to play back after the Del Sagno or Del Capo, uncheck the box here. Now let's explain the last option, manual repeats playback. This is a nice feature that you can create the loop back effect inside Sibelius, which I'll show you how to do now. When set to manual repeats playback, this overrides all the repeats that may be written in the score. Check the box and type in the message box below how you want your score to play back. Let's repeat the intro of the score, so I'm going to type in 1 through 7. If I plan on looping more than once or jump to another section of a playback, you can type in a comma and then your next value that you want, which to loop I'm going to type in 2 through 7. And I want to do this long enough to create a loop, so I'm going to repeat 2 through 7. Now playing this back, you'll see it creates a loop. Let's say I want to jump around the score and play back bars 14 through 17 and then 44 through 47. And then I want these to keep repeating back to back. Back and repeats, type in the bars that I want to play. And repeat the text so that these sections play over and over. And you'll see that it will play back both sections back to back. Thanks again for watching this tutorial. I hope you find some use for using manual repeats playback if you're not already using this. I'm Josh and I will see you guys next week.